Yeah. Hey, Danny, can I talk to you for a minute? Hey, Ben. Uh, sure. Yeah, come on in. Hi, is everything okay upstairs? Oh, yeah, yeah, the loft. The loft is great, which is why I feel really bad asking this, but, uh... What? Is there any way I can break the lease? It seems that I won't be needing it now that Bill and I have broken up. Oh. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. You didn't know. Know what? Well, it's just that the reason Bill ended our relationship is because he has feelings for Michelle. that meeting with Dr. Grant, right? Yeah, but then I'm heading home, and I thought that I would stop off and get us some dinner on the way. Unless, of course, you have some, some plans for tonight. Do I have plans? Oh, I have big plans. Uh, food, hot bath, bed, pretty much in that order. Same plans you had last night and the night before. You got a problem with me sticking around the house? I have a problem with you not having a life. So. I have a life of oh, things. I've got my work. I've got Robbie. I've got you. I've got Rick. You I've know got... what I mean. Oh, boy, we're not going to get the dating lecture again, are we? You know, this is going to come as such a huge shock to me, but there are other reasons to get out of the house, you know, besides going on a date. You could go to the movies. You could have dinner with a friend. I mean, why don't you call up Bill? Unless he's going out with Beth. Uh, no. They split up. Oh. Well, so that's all the more reason to call him. He's probably feeling down. You know, Bill has some other plans. I mean, actually, he's got plans for the whole weekend. I loaned he and Ben the cabin to go skiing. And they didn't invite you? No, they did. They uh -huh. did. I just didn't... I uh -huh. just didn't really want to go. Oh, honey, why? Come on, you love skiing. Go and have some fun. It's not really that simple. Why isn't it simple? Well, Bill admitted to having feelings for me of the non-platonic variety. Well, that kind of complicates things, then, doesn't it? No kidding. Bill stood by me through all my ups and downs with Danny. And a thought did cross my mind. You know how easy it is with him. But? But I've been on an emotional roller coaster lately, Dad. And I need to get my bearings before I make any big decisions about Bill or anything else in my life. Well, it seems to me, I mean, that's what you should be telling Bill. I wonder if he's actually left the cabin already, though. I'll call him and see. You know, and if he has, then drive up there and talk to him about this stuff there, and then stick around and, and do some skiing. Well, that was his original plan. Then do it. Honey, have some fun. I mean, what a novel concept. And don't worry about, you know, Robbie. I'll take care of Robbie. Are you sure? Because I can come back tomorrow night. Don't come back early because of that. The home front is covered. Wow, well, Bill and I haven't been skiing together in ages. We always have a blast. Go. Have some fun. Seriously. Okay. I will. I'm going to go pack. All right. See you then. Thanks. Anytime. Mm. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. That really wasn't my place. No, it's okay. Really, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what does it matter what Bill feels for Michelle since it's not going anywhere because the two of you are back together? Well, um... You are back together, Actually, right? we're not. At the moment, we're not. But it has nothing to do with Bill. Michelle sees Bill as a friend. Nothing more. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what he said. Anyway, uh, about the lease, don't worry about it. It's fine. It's not a problem. Consider it broken. Thank you. Sure. Now, I, I just have a few things up there, and I can get them out right now. Okay, just uh, leave the key with the bartender. Sure. And fine, we'll get all set. You know, I asked Bill a few times if he was interested in Michelle, and he just kept denying it. I guess I should have trusted my instincts. Yeah, they're usually right. But... 
uh, it leaves me more time to get my relationship with my daughter back on solid ground, so uh, there's a bright side. Good. Well, sounds good. Good luck, Beth. I hope everything works out for you. Yeah. You too. Thanks. Hey, great. Hey, uh, do you got a minute? Yes, yeah. me. Thank you. What's up? I'm looking for Michelle. Have you seen her? She went home. Oh, okay. But All you're right, just thanks. a pack, Danny. Um, she's taken off for the weekend. Where's she going? I guess if she wanted you to know that, she probably would have called you to so check your messages. Well, isn't she hasn't called them. What, what is this, a big secret? You have Michelle's number. Uh, just call her cell phone if you need to get home. Ed, what is this? What's with the cold shoulder? I like you, Danny. There's a ton of good in you. And what you did for me in Africa getting out of there, I will never forget that. Well, you helped me too. Patched me up. There's a connection between us, and I'm going to try as hard as I can to sustain that. But what you have to understand is I'm a father first. That's who I am. And since I have come home, I haven't seen Michelle happy. I'm talking about truly happy for one minute before one of your crises well, intervenes itself. You know? And it's not fair. It's not right. She really deserves better than that. You're here, you're gone, you're alive, you're dead. I mean, come on. You that's have done not my fault, Ed. It's Carmen's fault. And she's out of the picture. What makes you think it's going to be different this time? And you can't blame Carmen for everything. We all make our own mistakes, Danny. All of us. On our own. Look. However much you love my daughter, and I believe you do, I don't think at this point you are capable of giving her what she deserves, the kind of life she deserves. Well, I never thought I'd hear you say that. I never thought I'd say it. That's the way it is. Hey, Danny. It's Michelle. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I'm going uh, skiing up at the cabin this weekend. And my dad's taking care of Robbie. Um, I'll be back on Sunday at the latest. Um, I guess that's it. I hope you brought some marshmallows. 